YouTube, Electric Adventures here with the first of the games that I bought when I was away at the Game On Expo over at Phoenix, Arizona. I had lots of fun, met lots of people, and bought some games. So this was the very first item that I spotted, um, and I really am a big Robotron fanatic. I wouldn't say I'm any good at it, although I'm getting a little better. I do have a multi Williams cocktail back there which actually has uh, Robotron controls on one side, the dual stick controls. Now this Atari 7800 version looks quite good so far, colourful and lots of objects and everything like that. Um, it does have two modes of play, I'm going to play it just with one joystick to start with and you can play two players as well. Um, but it does have a dual joystick thing, so I've got, I don't have a mount but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Alright. So, one player, intermediate, and you can play two players. So, you can hold the button down. Oh, you've got to keep pressing. I didn't get rescue any of the... Getting used to the controls. Um, it'll only keep firing if you keep moving. Great. Oh. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this control scheme. Oh, there we go. Well, it has the elements of the arcade game. I was going for the human, and got done in by the red thing. protection is forgiving but I really don't like having to continuously press to fire because it also means you know you have to change position as well. I will say it's this is me getting used to the controls more than um, having an issue. Not a super fan of that control mechanism. So I'm not sure how we're going to do this but I have <coughs> a second joystick here. I'm going to try holding them on my lap. Okay. Oops. Well that works. It's just having a stable base. I need to rig up something, I think. Survival. Ah. Oh. I'm being slaughtered. But that's this Robotron, so what else do you expect? Obviously, having joysticks on the top of my knees is not the best base. Amazingly, I survived that and we got to the brainwave. Ah. 
Oh, oh, I ran into one of the stationary red blocks. Um, well, that's not a bad score, considering I'm playing on my knees. I reckon <coughs> I'm going to look up some... I've got a 3D printer and 3D printer base where I can probably use two Atari 2600 controllers because I've got obviously the one that came with the 2600 plus but I've got another old one that still works or maybe I can use um, you know something for the Wycos just so that you can mount them together and um, you know, still play but um, two player up down advanced experts intermediate novice okay Let's see what the carnage is like on Expert. I just want to see how fast it is. I'm not going to last very long. <laughs> Probably not going to last very long. I clear the screen. Oh, ah, no. You've got to be very dual dexterous to play this game. I mean, this does show that the um, you know the power of the Atari Seven Out Hundred. It's actually quite a um, an advanced system and can do graphics very well. I mean, there's a lot of colour going on here. Um, you end up with a slightly squashed ratio. Um, you know, it is definitely wider than it is tall. But um, this is very cool. We'll take it down from expert. All right, we'll go baby mode. There are lots of <coughs> Circle things because they're the ones that generate. Oh, missed it. No. And ran into the yellow thing. Once again, <coughs> left hand's getting confused. Yeah, this is pretty, pretty seductive. But that's good. That lets us. Game. Oh, <laughs> anywhere but oh. I might survive. Lots of points in the There's lots of guys to shoot. See, it keeps on adding the new things. Thousand by tiny bit. 
Well, <clears throat> why didn't I have this game before? Obviously, control a situation to be worked out. Um, well, for a start, I've had a PAL, Atari 7800, for a very long time, and this game definitely does not work on a PAL, and they never released a PAL version. Some of the games, Atari 7800 games, will work on both, and it doesn't matter. But this one, definitely not. So it's always been in my, I would love to have it, but couldn't get it, Mark. So, once again, the Atari 2600 com Plus comes to save. Now, I still have firmware 1.1. There is a 1.2 out. I was going to try it on this, but I just got the game set up and plugged it in, and it worked straight away. So I don't really need to play a bit of 1.2 yet, um, but I, I will at some stage. But, um, you know, crystal clear, um, uh, plays really well, no lag or anything like that, and an absolutely fabulous game that I've wanted in my Atari 700 collection for a long time. So um, I was very happy when I spotted it. And there were not a lot of Atari games at the show. Obviously, it was mainly NES, Super Nintendo, um, Nintendo 64, and all of your disc consoles. Well, there were lots and lots of games there. So could have had a spinning spree. I really wanted to, but um, I focused on the other stuff. All right, I've really enjoyed having a look at um, Robotron 2084, so I hope you've enjoyed having a look. And as you can see, the Atari, just it, it's a good showcase for the Atari 7800. All right, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.